Hey, what's up everybody? Terry White here and I've got some exciting news, especially for photographers that shoot in a production environment where they need clients to look at their work and um, make comments and review and all of that. Well, as you know, Adobe acquired a company called Frame.io and Frame.io is the leader when it comes to reviewing and commenting on videos. So we do all of our videos now, we upload them to Frame.io and all the stakeholders that need to look at them and comment on them, they do it you know, frame by frame wherever they need to do it, that's great. Well, last year they introduced Camera to Cloud and Camera to Cloud means that not only for video but also for photos, that the photos can go directly from the camera to your Frame.io account. And we'll get into the Frame.io account in just a minute. Um, but that's a cool, very cool thing you know, if you need people to review your work. But I'm a Lightroom user, so what's new as of today? Let's check it out. So um, I'm on my desktop here. I'm, I'm just gonna start where you would start. I'm gonna go to my browser. And in my browser, I'm just gonna go to frame.io. Now I expect at some point that it will be an Adobe URL, but you know, we're transitioning. Just, you know, we acquired the company and that hasn't happened yet. So uh, you would probably go ahead and start your free trial and set up your new account. And I'm gonna go ahead and just sign in because I already have an account. So let's do that. And there's my uh, email and all that. We'll just let that go ahead and get in. And I've already got some projects and things set up. So uh, version four of this is being launched today at Adobe Max. And uh, what I have already set up, the demo project kind of came with the account, like so I don't really use that, but I set up one called Adobe Max Miami. Now, when I open up that project, you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner, there's a uh, C to C connection and I have one. That means there's a camera to cloud connection. And when I click on that camera to cloud connection, it shows me I have a Fujifilm X-H2S camera connected and it's online right now. And so that's this camera right here. That's it. This this uh, this Fuji uh, X H two S, and it's got a sixteen to 30, sixteen to eighty millimeter lens on it. And I've got the uh, battery grip, which I just need figured out I need to tighten. And uh, of course, this camera, like many cameras being sold today, has Wi Fi in it. So most mirrorless cameras being sold today have Wi Fi. So that means that I can connect this to my network, which I've done, and pair it with my frame account because it has frame IO connectivity built in. We'll get to other camera manufacturers also in a minute. So uh, that's how I set up that camera to cloud connection. Now, when I uh, go into it, actually, I'm gonna go into it here. Uh, I'll go to my most recent folder, which is today. There's some stills there. And I just basically took some random pictures of stuff in my office. So I've got, I'm a, I'm a science fiction fan. So I've got a Millennium Falcon hanging from the ceiling. I've got a Lost in Space vintage robot gold unopened. I have some pictures around the office as well. And I took these uh, before I started this recording, literally on the camera and they came right into frame. So let's do one. Let's do one right now. I'm gonna take one that I haven't taken yet. I've got some Star Trek stuff over here and I have a Star Trek phaser. Let's go ahead and select that or actually select it. Let's go ahead and click. And uh, look, no wires, nothing. It's Wi-Fi, so it's sending this file up to Frame.io. Now, of course, I don't have to have Frame.io open. Those images were already there when we opened. We saw them come in. That one just came in. That's great, that's all happening in the background. So you could be out and about shooting and the next time your camera connects to Wi-Fi, you'll get those images in that you shot and it'll automatically go up to the cloud. Now, of course, in a studio environment, like my studio is right next door, I would have Wi-Fi as I'm shooting, I share this project to anyone that I want and they would be able to go in and make comments and, and mark favorites and all of that as I'm shooting the shots or even give direction you know, maybe I have a photo director that says, oh, you know, move the subject a little to the left, move the subject a little to the right, do all that, because they're seeing it on their device in a browser in Frame.io. So very cool for those that need that workflow. Let me take a few more shots. So um, I've got to take some more of the Star Trek stuff over here. So I'm just going to show you that as I take these shots, 
Uh, there's a Millennium Falcon up there. We'll take that one again. And I've got a picture of me on the bridge of the Enterprise. And there's a Klingon knife. And there's a 3D chess set with my light pole in the way. Uh, but there it is. And I'm just taking these shots and they're coming in to frame I.O. as I take them, which is great. Now, like I said, that's a great workflow. It removes the need to have a wire for tethering. So I don't have to have my foot 15 foot wire going around. Uh, but that begs some questions. So first question is, Terry, uh, don't you shoot Nikon? So what's this Fuji thing you got here? Well, Fuji was kind enough to loan me this camera to show you all how this will work. But as of today, Adobe has announced new partnerships with other camera manufacturers to incorporate Frame.io into their firmware. So uh, a couple of favorites. I, I don't have the list in front of me, but I'm going to name a couple that you're probably interested in. Nikon and Canon are there. I can't remember if Sony is there or not. You can go to our website and check. I'll put the URL in the description of this video. But this is cool. So this means that you probably won't have to go buy out and buy a whole new camera to get this done. Now, the next question this begs, well, Terry, I don't, I, don't, I don't have a photo director. I don't have clients that need to do it or look at them while I shoot. What's this do for me? Well, in addition to the new partnerships, because again, you could do this, you could have done this with Fuji last year. So today, new partnerships with new, more camera manufacturers but there's one bigger thing that's happening today for me. I use Lightroom, like I said earlier, and my photos are always in Lightroom where I want them to be. And I could go here now and there's a, yay, a send to Lightroom. I can do that manually and that will send those photos to Lightroom. But I don't wanna do that manually. I don't even wanna to have to open a browser. I don't have to do any of this. Well, guess what? Because I connected my account to my, my frame account to my Lightroom account, those photos are already in Lightroom. I just switched over to it. So Lightroom's cloud now talks to Frame.io's cloud. And as you're taking the shots, once you connect your Lightroom account to your Frame account, the images are already there. So even if I never had the browser open, even if I never opened and logged in the frame other than the one time to set it up, now as I shoot, they'll automatically come into Lightroom. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna quit out of the browser. I'm gonna quit Chrome. File or Chrome, quit Chrome. So now the only thing open is Lightroom. I don't have a uh, browser open anymore. Now, just a heads up, it will not be instantaneous because Lightroom only pulls the cloud. You see the little cloud icon, you saw it turn blue a second ago, every 30 seconds or so. So I can be shooting. So let's take some more pictures of the of the bike back here and the uh, Malmo, the, uh, the turning torso tower over there in Malmo. We'll take some um, BB-8s right there. So as I'm taking these shots, they are still being uploaded to Frames Cloud. I'll take a shot of the, <laughs> the satellite on the Millennium Falcon and we'll take another phaser shot. There we go, phaser and communicator this time. Great. So as I'm taking those shots, they're still being uploaded. And as soon as Lightroom pulls the cloud in about 30 seconds or so, those images will come down as well. So even though I don't have frame open, even though frame's not open right now, we'll give it a few seconds. And here, as I finish saying that, here they come. And it didn't bring them in one by one like one, then 30 seconds, two, then 30 seconds. That would be unbearable to have to wait 30 seconds for each frame. It says, I'm gonna pull the cloud every 30 seconds and bring down everything that's there. So if I would've got 30 frames in, and, and it's, you know, one per second, if I would've just click, 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 at 30 frames, then 30 images would've come down to Lightroom in that 30 seconds. So as many images as you shoot, you know you're gonna get that batch every 30 seconds because of the way Lightroom checks for the cloud. And that's just so that it's not keeping your Wi-Fi going non, or your internet going non-stop, pinging the cloud every second. So every 30 seconds while Lightroom's open, those images are synced. Now, two other questions you might have. What is, this is Lightroom not classic. How does that all work? I'll get to that in a second. 
Uh, but before we get to that, be because this is Lightroom's cloud, that means that they're already on my phone, they're already on my iPad, they're already in Lightroom web, they're already on my other computer because they all talk to the same Lightroom account. Next, what if you're a classic user? Well, classic users, um, you're, if you're syncing your catalog to Lightroom's cloud, even though you don't ever upload any images, it will download these images into Lightroom Classic from the cloud because it's a two-way sync. So, as, as, and I shoot these images, they will come down into Lightroom Classic and you can organize them any way you want after that. You could even go back and delete them off the cloud if you're low on space. Now, uh, it will, and the next, uh, there's another question before we get to the, uh, or we answer the classic one. Uh, another question you might have is, well, what format are they in? They're in whatever format you shot them in. So I'm shooting in JPEG now just for the sake of demo and speed. But if I put, I've shot these in RAW also. If I shoot RAW, they will come in just as they did. They will go up to the cloud. They will download into Lightroom. They'll be the RAW files. They'll be the originals. So there's no transcoding, converting, or anything like that going on. Whatever the camera's set to, that's what goes up. Whatever you set it to, that's what comes down into Lightroom or Lightroom Classic. So you basically have wireless, Wi-Fi based tethering kind of be, kind of you know thing going on. And not to mention the images are being backed up because when they go to Lightroom, they're backed up to Lightroom's cloud. So even if my equipment got destroyed, those images that got uploaded are there. They're in Lightroom, they're there, and they're in frame, they're there as well. So uh, this is going to be a pretty cool technology for people that always want it, not only camera to cloud, but as I like to call it, camera to Lightroom. Wi-Fi camera shooting directly to the cloud and having them come down into Lightroom and or Lightroom Classic. So with that said, cheers, everyone. I'll put links in the description. Go check them out. Go to Adobe.com or search for Frame or go to Frame.io. You can learn more about it. You can set up your account. You can start testing this. And this is pretty cool. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.